optimal loading. So optimal loading is the ability to change the resistance of the load throughout the movement, eccentric and concentric movement. So if I have the correct um, to the net, so it's very common. Now if I am able to control carries as from over here. Alright, so as as you pull, so as he pulls, he pull, pull in, good, and pull out, I can control the entire room. So again, pull, pull out. So another way to explain, you want to pull this. Bench, dumbbell. Okay, now this movement here, a bicep curl. So when you're at this point, this is the hardest point. This part's easy. And then of course, when you're here, this is the easy part. So there is an area where it's hard. But during the eccentric and concentric, eccentric and concentric. So here it comes. Do the same movement. This is optimal loading where I'm going to control this movement. So you're going to go, I'm going to add resistance where it's easy. So pull up. And then assistance where it's hard and then pull where it's down. I'm controlling the entire movement. The whole movement. Yep. Eccentric and concept. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to do. This would be, we're going to use Karen, we're going to use Karen, 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 grab one. This part would be this one, yeah. Don't worry about this. And then here, Karen. Now, Karen, you're going to pull. Good. Now, I'm going to split stance in his foot, in his foot, yeah. A little bit of Good. So, not like this. Good. Yes. Okay, so Karen pull. Karen is controlling the eccentric, and Carrie is controlling your concentric. You understand? Good. Carrie, around. Come around. Yes, again. So she's controlling your return, and as well as your pull. Your return and your pull. And you're doing the same with her. That is optimal loading. Okay. Alright, take a seat. Now the next concept, 